With temperatures getting cooler, we're all starting to think about trends in our fall closets. Today, we'll talk to some experts about where we should shop for fall. I'm Dawn Pumpelli, editor and owner of the Scout Guide Huntsville, and this is Scouted. So I'm here today with Kate Cole of Hi, Carriage Dawn. House. So good to see you. I'm oh, so excited to hear your expert advice on fall trends. Okay. Number one, you told me that we are returning to femininity. So what does that mean? Yes. So we're seeing lots of feminine um, elements. Um, skirts, for example, things with lots of movement, um, focusing on pieces that add a little bit of polish. Okay, you talked to me about pants too. What's happening yes. in the pants? Okay, well, the wide leg trouser and jean is, is very important. And it's really more of a palazzo rather than a flare leg. Okay. And again, there's movement, so there's feminine mm -hmm. element. All right, so now here it is. We have Hillary in this beautiful yes. vegan leather look. Vegan leather, um, and you know, leather has been in, we've seen a lot of leather in the past few seasons, but it's taking center stage, head to toe leather. With feminine elements to it, the skirt, it, here we see again, which is so important, right. and then there's a little toughness with the, with the leather. Where do you think Hillary would wear this? I think she could wear it to a cocktail party, mm -hmm. dressed up depending on her shoes and her jewelry and mm -hmm. her bag. Um, I think she could wear it to work with a blazer. Okay. Um, then she could split the pieces apart and wear um, a dressy top mm -hmm. with a skirt and, or just a white tank. Yeah. White tank and jeans. Jeans Her palazzo top. jeans on the bottom. I love it. You've got like five outfits there. <laughs> So I'm here with Lois Ann today, yes. a personal couture, and you are going to share your take on the fall trends with us. Yes. You're wearing one of them. Tell yes. us about this. Yes. So you're going to see a lot of neutrals this season, but with some strong pops. This Marigold Samoan Sun, um, Pantone may, named is one of their colors. So some pops. Though. Yeah, this is really pretty. Thank I love you. the details. Very feminine. Thank you. Too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Lois Ann, this is another trend. What are we seeing yes. here? Yes. Metallics. Bronze, copper, cafe latte, that, that color palette. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great top from Posh Couture. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's a good um, clean slate to layer with necklaces. This is a line Dina Matney. So very fun, day to night look. Yes, I love that. So would you? what would you wear this with? You could do black flared jeans. You could dress it up with a black pant. You could do a little tuck and do a leather pencil skirt. So lots of options. Mm -hmm. And then I see something else back here. This yes. is another trend. Yes, snake skins, some more metallic. This is a line from Peru. This is such a cute bag. What a cute shape. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Just a little different. All right, Lois Ann, it's undeniable this is a trend. Yes, leather is, is big as always, but it's really big this year. Mm -hmm. And chocolate, it is back. For a long time we had kind of gone more to gray in that palette, but chocolate is back in a big way. And so would you wear this as a whole outfit? Yes, so yes, shorts or the, or the skirt? Or the skirt, With yes. the jacket? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And then the jacket could just be paired down with jeans or with a pencil skirt for the office. Mm -hmm. And you know what I really like? And your hand's covering it right yes. here. The puff sleeve. Yes. Like, it, so that femininity is still adds, coming through. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. And it adds just a little updated detail to your mm -hmm. basic leather jacket. Okay, I'm here with Catherine of Monkeys. You're gonna talk to us about your perspective on the fall trends. What am I seeing here? So we're seeing a few things. Mm -hmm mainly vegan leather. I mean, I'm head to toe vegan leather from top, bottom, shoes and bag, aside from the denim jacket. It is probably the number one trend for fall, and I mixed in a little bit of the tonal browns here. You're gonna see a lot of brown this fall in suede, leather, lots of textures. Um, and we have a little bit of 90s minimalism mm -hmm. with the denim jacket. I love it. And so you'll see blazers, that kind of menswear, but made fem feminine trousers, that kind of stuff. And what I love about this is Carriage House, Personal Couture, and Monkeys are all recommending vegan leather. That's like the top trend for fall. But what we're seeing is a different take on it. I mean, and this is your take, and I yes. love bringing in the denim and the casualness of the pants. It's fabulous. Thank it's you. It's great on you. That's one thing I really like to do, especially, you know, as a business owner and a mom, like bring in that casual element because as much as I would like to be in a ball gown and have that kind of life, <laughs> I just don't. I yeah. think the casual element is 
very important for a lot of Huntsville. Yeah. One thing that you mentioned to me is that some people are saying, hey, are we are we taking it too far? Is this too outfitty? What what kind of feedback are you getting? Yeah, so I've gotten that question a lot actually, like, can I do leather on leather? Does it look like I'm trying too hard? Absolutely not. And if you're not sure, send me a picture, DM me a picture, I'll tell you. <laughs> So to learn more about fall fashion trends or how to just live well locally, visit our website at TSG Huntsville.